You're just a simp for Windows and you don't care that they put ads in Windows. No, I just don't think that Microsoft asking you if you want to use their cloud backup service or their documents feature that's built into the OS is actually an app. Because like on Mac OS, you have your Apple ID cloud storage, which is also on iOS, which is automatically turned on by default. Then you also have Android, which also automatically turns that on by default. Hence why you're able to restore a backup of your phone, even though you never actually set that up. You also have that on a lot of different versions of Linux. I don't consider that type of thing an ad because it's usually a feature built into the OS. Well, what about this ad on the old OS? So we're going to criticize any decision that was made on a system from 10 years ago for what they're doing today. And you don't see the issue with that? Well, people online are saying there's countless ads in Windows. Why don't you care about what they're saying? Oh yeah, I'll believe them the moment you or one of them can show me the exact settings that they went through to get to that result. Because I've set up countless Windows 11 computers and have not seen the issue that they're talking about online. Hence why I need to know exactly what setting I'm doing differently so I can get the same result. The moment you do that and I actually see that there are ads, I will also be on your side saying that Microsoft is horrible and they should not have ads in their OS. But until that day, I can't be on that side. I need actual evidence. Well, clearly you're being dishonest and you just want to argue to argue because you're using your anecdotal evidence. Ah, so me actually wanting to be able to recreate the issue and prove that it actually exists instead of just taking someone's word of mouth is being dishonest and using anecdotal evidence. Can I get back to work now? <laughs>